This simple chocolate loaf cake gets its luscious fudgy appeal from a twist of fresh pumpkin. While you cannot distinctly taste it, the pumpkin contributes much to the texture of this relatively low-fat cake. Married with the warming hints of cinnamon, coffee and molasses, it adds just enough of a rich caramel flavour for that feeling of contentment that we all look for from a bite of chocolatey indulgence, but also from life itself. The recipe is an easy, straightforward one, as it is just a matter of getting the correct measurements and then mixing everything together. By the way, if you want the recipe in text format, you can get it on our website. I will leave the link in the description box below. So as I make chocolate cake for you today, I am simply going to share with you a few thoughts on life from my experience. To simply put it, there are no ordinary moments in life. We are all so focused on achievement and working towards our goal for the next big thing to happen that very often we forget the beauty with which life unfolds. At this current age, it has come to a point where we have fallen into believing that we need to get as much done as possible in the least amount of time. We buy into the idea that if what we call work or chores, based on our preconceived ideas of them, are done faster, then the more time we will have for ourselves. We try to pack in as much as we can in our daily schedule. But the truth is, when time and attention is divided, try as much as we may, there will never be enough time in a day to keep up with the pace. We are left with a sense of lacking and unaccomplishment. Even if we do get things done, eventually it will never be enough. Something is still missing. It took me a good number of years to understand the beauty in every moment. I have a sister who is pretty laid back, carefree and relatively slow moving by definition. She just has her own pace. It took me long to realize what life was teaching me right there in front of me all this time. As her elder sister, I was made to believe that it was my responsibility to help her or train her even to hurry up so that she doesn't miss her opportunities in life. But it was years later until I realized she was teaching me what life is about. She would always take her time in everything that she does, whether it was taking her shower, combing her hair, getting dressed, or eating her food. She was the last one in the family to be ready for whatever else there was to do. Our words did little to make her hurry up. One day I realized I was being a bully to my own sister. All this time I thought I was doing her good, trying to get her up to speed to society's standards. But it was her who was teaching me something without even realizing it. That day, which was a few years ago, I saw life in a totally new aspect and decided to just let her be. As I watched her do her things, I started to realize that somehow her life unfolds in a magical way. Because she did not have any resistance, things around her would still happen for her, within her pace, and sometimes even better than what anyone would have expected. Living life in a hurry is living out of fear. The fear of what if, which is something that does not exist. In fact, it is not living at all. We are just closing so many doors on ourselves. The best way to show our loved ones that we care about them is by taking care of ourselves. And there is no better way to do this than taking the time to actually live. 
Life itself is our best teacher. If we only allow ourselves the time to observe everything and everyone that surround us, there are no ordinary moments in life. We tend to think that time is money, but money does not stay. No sooner than it comes, it goes away. And time, time is eternity. We won't need a break from life if we start living from life's perspective itself. We just need to stop, smell the roses, and understand the language of life, something that we have forgotten for far too long. I choose to live from moment to moment. There is no tomorrow. This moment is eternity, in which I start to be life itself and appreciate the simple delights of each moment. One of them being the bliss in taking a bite into a piece of chocolate cake. <laughs>